He's Albert Breer, the Monday morning quarterback, senior NFL reporter. Explain to me what happened with the commanders. Um, yeah. With the coaching search and mm -hmm. what happened with Eric Bieniemy. Uh, was yeah. Belichick in the mix there, you know, so, 11th yeah. hour? I mean, where, wherever you want to start here. I would say, like, one of the things that Josh Harris and, and his group really focused on was structure. And I think that's one of the reasons why Belichick didn't fit into it. In fact, I think, like, overall, owner's obsession now with looking at different structures across all the sports, in soccer, in basketball. Um, you know, Josh Harris obviously owns a basketball team, owns the Sixers. So they, a lot of these teams have looked very intensely at structure. And I think that's why, like, the, the all-powerful head coach, the Bill Belichick, the Mike Vrabel, had much more trouble finding work in this cycle. Is because it's like, okay, like, so before I've hired the people, I've, I've set up the structure, and does this type of coach fit into that structure? Or is this type of coach valuable enough where I want to fit the structure around him? And I think a lot of these owners now are picking the structure over the coach, which I'd argue might not be the best way to do it, but... That's the way they decided to do it. So they hire Adam Peters um, very, very quickly, and they were efficient about that. They got him within the first week. And they wanted to be wide open about their process. So they had Zoom interviews with, um, I believe it was eight candidates. They brought seven of them back for in-person interviews. And they wanted to be open-minded about it. Raheem Morris almost got the job two weeks ago, very close to getting the job two weeks ago. The Falcons gave him an offer and that made the commanders really think. And they, now, you know, we want to finish our process. We want to meet with everybody. They were obviously interested in meeting with Ben Johnson. Um, that didn't go so well um, on Monday with the way that they got the news there. And then the final two were Mike McDonald and, and Dan Quinn. And Seattle swooping in and grabbing McDonald sort of clarified, simplified things. Did they them. want Dan Quinn? Did they settle for They love for Dan, Dan Quinn, yeah, like they do. But they and settle the, for Dan there Quinn. There are a lot of common connections there, though. Adam Peters came from San Francisco. A lot of the coaches in San Francisco worked under Dan Quinn in Atlanta. So Kyle Shanahan was... Dan Quinn's offensive coordinator. So Quinn, like the references were great. He knocked the interview out of the park. Is it as exciting at hire as Raheem Morris or, um, you know, or Ben Johnson, ben Johnson or Mike yeah. McDonald would have been, you know, maybe not, but Dan Quinn's somebody who was in de demand the last couple of years. So I think settled the wrong, it settles the wrong word. I think it's, they were just kind of committed to, riding the entire process out. And because of that, they lost a couple of guys along the way.